Now your vinyl is loaded into the cutter and you have your cut preset on the screen, which is the cut one here. We can now begin to change the cut settings. Depending on what vinyl you're using in the cutter will depend on the speed, pressure and offset you will need to use to get it to cut correctly. Firstly, we're going to head into tool, which is just under function two. Now we can change the speed, pressure and offset. Here we're using ultra cut turbo vinyl, so we're going to increase the speed to 50. Cut force can then also be reduced to 50 because once again, that is going to work with this vinyl. Now we have the Mimaki blade in the machine, which means we need an offset of 30. If you use the Mimaki blade, as we've shown in the setup video prior to this one, then you will need your offset to be 30. If you use a blue tipped express smart knife, you'll want it to be 25. And if you use a red tipped smart knife, you'll need it to be 50. In this scenario, once again, the Mimaki blade is 30. You then get extra options. These ones I leave as they are. Just press end and it will go back to your home screen. And the machine is now set up to run for this particular vinyl. To make sure that it's going to work, we need to perform a test cut. We can do that from the function key and then square cut. If I press enter on that, the machine is going to cut the square inside a square, which we can then read off to check that the cut force is correct. After your square cut is complete, you can scroll the media forwards using the down arrow key, which will begin to bring the media forward to you. At this point, we can now weed off the squares. So I'm gonna start with the outside one, and then pull off the inside square. Now we know this test cut pressure is perfect because we can see a light scoring on the backing of the vinyl where the blade has gone over. If we have that square cut on the vinyl, we know that the blade is cutting deep enough. That is what you're looking for. Once you're finished weeding those off, just press the end key on the bottom left corner of the control panel and it will reset the vinyl to its original position.